All right, I'm going to show you how to edit the uh, mail minister lines in your data pack. Uh, this process is pretty simple. Uh, we're just going to download one program. Uh, I'm going to put this link uh, to where the download is located in the description. And you'll just click download. And wait for it to download. And then I'm also going to put a link uh, to my other video where I go over like two and a half hours. I can't remember how long it was, the longest time to... Uh, Go over how to edit the uh, data pack and make changes to to the game. Um, because if you make it this far, I mean, the rest of it's pretty simple. You just uh, you just want to make sure you back up the data pack um, file in case you make an edit to the data pack and then you break your game and you don't have to re-verify your game to have it re-download everything because the file is huge and it takes forever to get downloaded. All right, so pack file manager 5.2.4.zip has been downloaded. Should be in my downloads folder. There it is. Uh, so you're going to right click, extract all. Um, extract. And you've got pack file manager 5.2.4. Uh, now it's probably not going to ask me, but when you open this up for the first time, uh, you want to run anyway. Let Windows freak out. Uh, it's going to go through these games. These are Total War games, Total War 3K. Um, we're only worried about Shogun, so I'm just going to cancel. Unless it says Total War S2 is Total War Shogun 2. But it's probably not going to ask me because I've already done it. Basically what you're going to do, if it says uh, Total War S2, you're going to click Browse. And then you're going to go to your data uh, where your game's located. So you'll go to your C drive. Uh, program files, uh, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Shogun 2. There's your game. So this is the file, and then you select, once you have that folder selected, the Shogun 2, you select OK. Um, and that way it knows where to uh, locate your your folder. So this is uh, Pack File Manager. Uh, so what you want to do is open the data pack. So we're going to go open. Uh, we're going to go, we'll just start from the, the beginning. C drive, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, Shogun 2, and then data. So in here is where your mods are uh, when you download them. Um, you can actually edit specific mods. Um, let's see. We want to go to data. All right. So this is a fresh data pack for the exception of the one change I made, which is I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, so when you first launch it, you cannot edit anything. Um, it's yellow and gray. Uh, that's to stop you from messing your game up. So in order to edit stuff, you go to options, CA packs are read only, check that, or uncheck that, and then I'm not afraid, and then see it turns uh, white here instead of gray. So now I can go in and edit um, a charge bonus, or uh, we won't worry about that. So we're gonna go down to campaign, character, arts, where are you, arts sets tables. So there's sets and there's art tables. So the sets are um, actually creating a specific character. So this game has created four uh, ministers, male ministers. Those are the, the young boys aged uh, four to coming of age. Um, I've actually, in my mod, created 10. Um, the problem is when they uh, made this, there's actually a space like this. Um, all you have to do is click on one of these and erase the space and then you click save and it should auto correct these three and get rid of the space bar. If not, you just go in and remove the space on each one and then hit save. Um, that will get you all the male ministers. Um, if you look, I haven't adjusted their arts table. This is what uh, th theirs is pulling from is these uh, four here, and this actually still has the space in it. I don't need to fix this because my mod, um, as long as I change this, we're kind of catching uh, the error upstream and avoiding this table altogether. 
and we're catching this error upstream and pushing it to my mod. Uh, so that's pretty much the gist of it. Once you save it, then you should be able to get all 10 uh, uh, portraits for the boys. Now, uh, if you've made it this far, I would recommend watching my other video. Um, it'll show you how to go through um, and edit like unit stats. Um, there's all different types of stuff you can edit. I did make it back before I've learned a lot more about Pack File Manager, but there's still a ton of information in there. It's long as hell, so you, you could skip through it though. Um, but I try to go over each and every one. I know I skip some that I don't quite understand at the time. Um, but that, that's it. Uh, thank you guys. I appreciate you uh, downloading my mods and, and giving me all the support. And you guys have a wonderful day.